Thank you Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. So today I'm gonna to show you just how easy Streamlabs has made it to be able to multi-stream in both horizontal and vertical so you can be able to grow your stream. If you don't have Streamlabs desktop installed, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. It's completely free to get set up. So once you have Streamlabs desktop open, we're gonna to come to the bottom left-hand side and we're gonna select settings. This is gonna give us access to the dual output feature to allow us to stream in both vertical and horizontal at the same time. So we'll come here to where it says video. You'll see an option that says enable dual output. We'll select that there. And you'll see now that we'll have a horizontal output and a vertical output. Now, one of the beautiful things here is that this is completely free for one horizontal platform and one vertical platform. If you do want to be able to stream to multiple horizontal platforms and multiple vertical platforms, you can go ahead and get Streamlabs Ultra to be able to go ahead and do that. Now, for this example, I'm going to show you how to stream to one horizontal platform and one vertical platform. So once you have that set up there, we now need to go ahead and customize the way that our horizontal is going to look and the way that our vertical is going to look. You can see here that Streamlabs makes it really easy by already taking what you have in your horizontal output. So I have my starting soon, my countdown timer, my just chatting, my gameplay, my be right back and my stream ending. But however, it's not formatted for the vertical and we want to make sure that our viewers on our vertical stream get a good experience, right? Because this is what's going to allow us to be able to reach more people. And if we get them to see our vertical live stream, they may come over and check out our horizontal as well. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is you're going to see here on scenes, you're going to have an option to toggle it on whether you want to hide this on horizontal or hide this on vertical. And all that simply means is that maybe there's certain things that I don't want to be seen on my vertical layouts. I can go ahead and toggle that on and off. You can do that for scenes or you can do that for actual sources directly. So for example, if I select it here and I hide uh, on the vertical, you can see now that my starting soon is now hidden and I can do the same here for the horizontal and vice versa. So let's go ahead and start customizing this so we can make this look as best as possible. So what I like to do for the starting soon is try to make this as big as I possibly can without cutting out the words. And what I typically like to do is I'll put a starting soon here in the center and then I'll come here, I'll right click, I'll hit copy and then I'll paste again. And then what this is going to allow me to do is have two starting soon. So you're going to see why I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to make it as big as I possibly can. And now what I want to do here is I just want this to be on the vertical, not on the horizontal, right? So now you can see here that we're starting soon. It's starting to look good. So now I'm going to go ahead and scroll here to my countdown timer and you can follow the same process here. But the main scene that you're going to probably deal with is going to be your gameplay scene. So for the gameplay scene, you can see here that my camera on the vertical is kind of all out of whack. My gameplay is not there. There's a lot of things just missing for the scene. So let's go ahead and get this customized as best as we can. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our gameplay. You can see here that our gameplay, this is going to be our overlay bar. So we can go ahead and size this down. And again, you can decide whether you want to use certain things or not. So let's just place that there for the time being. Let's go ahead and go to our gameplay. We can see here, this is where our gameplay is. So now for the gameplay, we want this to be at the right size for us to be able to go ahead and adjust this. So let's minimize this here. And now we have here our gameplay scene. Let's unlock it. And what I want to do is just try to size it up and try to create as much space as I possibly can. Most of the time, you're going to want to have the gameplay a little bit at the top because most social platforms are going to have things at the bottom. They're going to block what needs to be seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to size this up, I'm going to place this there, and then I'm just going to lock it for the time being. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete this and hide it from my vertical because I don't need two gameplay scenes showing there. Then for my alerts, you can see here that I have my alerts here on the left hand side. So let's say if I trigger an alert right now and let's say we have a follower, you're going to see here that my alerts going to pop up here as well. But on my um, vertical, it's not. So now I can decide I can move this over and we can emulate that again to trigger the follow alert. So now we'll have the follower also pop up on the vertical as well. So we'll have that. We'll trigger this here. And now you're going to see here that we have our alert, right? So you can see it's a lot smaller on the vertical, but we can come and adjust that. 
So now that we have that in place there, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is adjust our camera, right? Because we wanna make sure that we're seen as best as we possibly can. So what I like to do is adjust my camera, bring it down and just be the bottom layer of the screen. So now we have our gameplay. And again, you can decide on your gameplay where you want this to be. So let's say for example, you want this to be a little bit more centered, pretty much click on the gameplay, right click, hit transform. And then here you wanna do center horizontal. That's gonna give you this good game where it needs to be. So we'll select that there, right click, hit transform, center horizontally. And now that's gonna be as center as it possibly can be. So now we have this in place here. So now what's gonna happen is that when I go to my starting soon, it's gonna automatically switch over. When I come to my countdown, it's gonna switch over automatically. My just chatting, so we can do the same thing here if we just want to just chatting. Now for the just chatting, I would do it a little bit differently, right? So for the just chatting, I would come here to just chatting. I would turn this off on vertical, okay? My labels, I would turn them off on vertical. And then my camera, I would bring it center and I would go ahead and try to size it up as much as I possibly can. And again, you can have your alert still. So I'm say I would put it here and I don't need my gameplay either. So we'll hide that there for a moment. And then what you can do is that you can go ahead and put your labels or your alerts there as well to be able to kind of show. But for this, I'm going to hide my labels and I'm going to make my camera full screen a little bit kind of centered because remember a little bit in the top, certain features are going to be blocking and at the bottom, certain features are going to be blocking. So then I have my gameplay. Here's my gameplay. There's my game. I can move around. I can walk now. I'm in the center and that's what I want there. And then again, you can do the same thing for your be right back and your stream ending. So now once we have this in place and again, you're going to be able to have different alerts for different platforms. So for example, if I have Twitch on the left on horizontal, um, I can go ahead and leverage my Twitch alerts there. And then if I want to go ahead and have custom alerts for my vertical, whether I'm streaming to YouTube or I'm streaming to TikTok or, you know, Instagram or any of those platforms there, I can go ahead and select a uh, different alert boxes for those different platforms. So that way it creates a more engaging experience for your viewers. So let's go ahead and go back to our gameplay. So we have this here. So now once we have our overlays set up the way that we want them to be, we can go ahead and select go live. And this is going to give us two different options here. So the first thing is you're going to decide what platform you're going to want to be horizontal and vertical. So for this example, uh, my TikTok is going to be my vertical and then my Twitch is going to be my horizontal. And again, as I mentioned before, if you want to go more than just these two platforms, you can go ahead and get ultra and I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So once you have this selected, you're going to select your title for your stream. So I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to say going live on NBA 2K25 uh, using Streamlabs. Okay. And then for TikTok, you can go ahead and uh, select your game. So I'm just going to do NBA 2K25. And then for the Twitch category, I'm just going to do a just chatting for the moment. And then you'll simply can select show advanced settings. This is if you want to go a little bit deeper and put in some tags, put in some things for your content. Um, ask yourself if it's branded content. This is where you can add those additional things. For example, we don't need to add that. I'm just going to go ahead and add this game back. And then once you have this in place, we can select here, confirm and go live. Okay. This field needs to be greater it cannot be okay going live on a 25 we're going to go live and you're going to see here it's going to be updating your settings it's going to say are you sure you want to start streaming i'm going to select go live there's my platform here's going to be my chat that's now going to go ahead and show up and you're going to see here that i'm now live on a twitch and also live on tiktok so you can see here that now to the right my twitch chat is showing up here but i also have the multi-streaming chat as here as well you can refresh the chat you can see that everything is going to be easy to be able to manage so again you can see here on the left hand side we're going to have our twitch our tiktok and then here on the right we'll be able to just see our twitch chat or be able to see the multi-streaming feature as well to engage with your viewers and now you're literally live able to go ahead and reach a new audience and be able to grow your stream even faster utilizing streamlabs dual output feature but if you do not have access to TikTok to stream, Streamlabs has made it easy for you to be able to get approved to start streaming directly from Streamlabs. So go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on how to gain that access. And if you want to make your stream look professional by knowing how to add overlays to Streamlabs, I encourage you to watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on adding in your alerts, your starting soon and your countdown screen. I'll see you guys in the next video.